maybe I should wear my glasses so I can see how ugly I am. <laughs> Ugh. Oh god, that was from my earlier binge. That's too much. That's too much. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put that over there. So, um, sorry if I'm looking over here because I don't know. It's just where my face is versus where the camera is. So today I, okay, so this is, um, creamy chocolate. I haven't, um, let myself have ice cream in, like, a long, long time, so I'm kind of excited. Well, not excited, but, you know, whatever. It just tastes like suffering. I wonder if I can eat this whole thing. Probably. I should probably talk, right? Like, I feel like, I don't know, you just don't want to sit here and watch me eat for <laughs> a half hour. <laughs> I mean, it's possible, but I'll explain a little bit about why I'm here I actually really did this isn't like a huge binge compared to what I've done before like I've definitely eaten entire pizzas and like a dozen donuts a whole cake you know whatever but oh my god it's on my face already oh my god where was I it's kind of hard to talk during um <clears throat> binges because my brain kind of short circuits into like I don't know some weird primal mode where like I need to consume everything yeah so I don't typically binge like um it's not really a symptom I have of my eating disorder but lately like since college started um I'm a freshman in college and I don't know, it's just been really stressful, so, uh, restriction has been worse, um, for long periods of time, but then, consequently, it's, like, I don't know, just triggered all sorts of, like, cravings, hunger, comfort eating, the lot. today was really rough like this whole week's been rough um it started with like a fast and then um low restriction and exercising a ton and then today I woke up and I was just really hungry right off the bat really tired like I stood up saw black spots <clears throat> uh, couldn't really stand I just felt like really really tired um so I weighed today and for the whole week for some reason my weight has been the same like even going up sometimes which I know like is impossible because I've been keeping really meticulous track of everything and like how much you burn how much I consume like even weighing everything so like food so it was really stressful and you know I gone through a lot this week and <clears throat> I didn't even get out of bed today till like 6.30 because I just couldn't, just couldn't do life, you know? I cried for like a half hour. Do you know that like internal conflict where like you really, really want to eat? Like even you're craving food, you're hungry, you're tired, you even like food maybe. And, but you can't at the same time. Like your body's like... No, your brain's like, <laughs> no. So, I was having one of those moments, and it just got really overwhelming, and I was really trying to keep it, like, normal. Like, just eat a normal dinner at the dining hall, 
all tonight. But of course, it triggered a binge. Here we are, and I already, I ended up binging earlier. I had a lot of pizza, fries, cookies, and a cupcake. But, um, I don't know, here we are again at like 10 o'clock. I should be doing homework or studying, like I have midterms, or drawing or writing. Oh my god, I can't get this cheesecake open. <laughs> it's your boy, Skinny Penis. <laughs> I don't know why it's so hard to just be normal. Like, why can't I just eat, you know, three meals a day, stop when I get full? Or like, not obsess over food, not cry at the idea of eating, be kind of sick. And the thing is, it's like, I'm in pain, like, my stomach hurts, my head hurts, my back. <laughs> well, now I just sound old. My point, like, I just don't want to be here, like, I don't want to be eating right now. Yet, yet I am. And I know that, like, <clears throat> if I try to lay down and just ignore the urges or whatever, the binge urges, then it would be impossible. Like, I would get up and I would binge at some point during the night like I wouldn't be able to sleep or I'd wake up because I don't freaking know mm. <laughs> cheesecake is so <clears throat> rich that's gonna be painful Ugh. don't like that combination and like I feel so invalid when I binge because my diagnosis is anorexia so when I like binge, I just feel like I'm fake somehow. Like, so these M and M's were like three dollars and thirty cents. I haven't had candy in so long. I know this sounds weird, but I think Smart Water <clears throat> like genuinely tastes the best. My stomach hurts so bad. <laughs> Gonna put my Oreos in my ice cream. <laughs> oh, jeez. This ice cream is really good. Why is this my life? I don't get it. <clears throat> God, I have no voice. I'm so sorry. I feel like it's really annoying because it sounds so whiny, but it feels like all I can focus on is, you know, body image and food and how tired I am and I just have no motivation and... I love these, by the way. Tell me why I'm about to cry because I can't get them open. Like, I'm having a Trisha Paytas moment. <laughs> like, I'm really just about to have a breakdown. <sighs> I wonder what Jimin's doing right now. I hope he's having a good time. Awkwardly, I was walking it back into the dorm with my, like two bags of junk food and I just saw like a whole group of teens college students like in costumes heading out for a party and I was like you know what I kind of like that The fact that I only walked 1,600 steps today. Do I tell my therapist about this on Monday? I should just link her the video. Neff said. <clears throat> the 
the ridiculous part is that like even though I'm literally sitting here surrounded by junk food and eating all I can think about is other food that I want like what the fuck on an unrelated note this book is really good I feel like this is all I ever do. Like, I'll be in class, and I'm just like, Vistag. <laughs> BRB. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, part two. I'm really kind of considering going on a fast, like a five day one or something after this, I don't know. So I haven't had um, these kinds of cookies. Oh fuck. These kinds of cookies, Chips Ahoy. Um, I dropped this on the ground, but like, is that gonna stop me? No. Um, I haven't had these kinds of cookies since like childhood. So, well, I'm still kind of a child. I mean, I'm only 18, but. <coughs> You know what, I kind of really don't like these. They're so salty. Sauce. Also, we have these, which are really good. And I haven't had these in literally years, probably. So, and I just want to go to bed. <laughs> I was invited to like parties and haunted houses and everything else tonight. And I literally just blew off my friends to binge. Oh yeah. Mm, I have so many books. Look at this. Well, okay. I was pregnant. <laughs> so this quote, it's kind of similar to the one I think we all know, which is like, um, you shouldn't judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree. But this says, what does a fish know about the water in which he swims all his life? Okay. Not to be like boring or lame or whatever but this um paragraph really got to me um i literally annotated it with holy shit and yet i know that all in all man changes but little even though prevailing notions make him appear in a very different light at different times and even though current trends like the present bring him unimaginable sorrow Nothing of all that will remain but a few pitiful pages in the history books, briefly picturing to the youth of future generations the follies of its ancestors. The rest of the world has slowly grown accustomed to these symptoms of moral decay. I think that's really interesting because we really have grown so, like even back then we had been, we have grown so like numb to things and just kind of used to it. So we don't question it, like, would a fish question the water? It's always swimming. A good weed to take my mind off of how much I want to die right now. I'm just straight up not having a good time. Hate that I'm probably gonna gain a few pounds. I miss my friends. Like, 
And I was supposed to go home to see my family today, too. And I couldn't do it. Like, I already had this in mind, and... I don't know. I'm hoping that one day I look back on this video and I'm like just past it you know like this is a thing of the past and I can look back and think like yeah I'm better and like glad I'm not there anymore but for the foreseeable future I feel like this is just reality literally so sick of it just the fact that I used to have so much personality and talents and hobbies These are so salty and I hate it. I just really wish sometimes that someone would be like, you good? I'd be like, no, not really. Why did I do this? Like, why do I do this? I keep getting like acid burps. I don't feel satiated at all. <clears throat> I don't feel better emotionally. I don't feel better physically. There really is just no point in binging. I've eaten pretty much um, all of the food. I didn't finish the cookies though, because like the um, Chips Ahoy ones, because they were really nasty, I'm not gonna lie. I'm glad those are only 99 cents, because, yeah. Um, but I'm kind of burnt out and tired, and now I have to go do damage control, so I have to put on my Heelys to escape my feelies now. <laughs> Um, so hopefully, I mean, I don't want to say hopefully this was entertaining, because that's a little, hopefully I wasn't too, hopefully I wasn't too much of a downer during this video, whatever reason you came to watch. Thank you. Bye.